Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 is the latest version of the Dark Rock Pro CPU cooler line, available at around 100 US dollars or 90 euros, as seen on the main online retailers across the world. The cooler also has a TDP of 250 watts as the previous model and uses two silent wing fans with different dimensions. It also includes a third set of fan clips by default. The heatsink features a dual tower design and uses 90 airflow optimized cooling fins with 45 fins stacked on each tower. The two fans used with this cooler as previously mentioned are part of the Silent Wings 3 series and have different sizes for a better memory clearance. The cooler has a height of 146mm and a width of 136mm with a total weight of 1130 grams with the fan installed. The cooling fins are covered by a black ceramic coating. The shape of the front fins is different than the shape of the back fins. This is done to facilitate the installation of the smaller fan at the front of the cooler and thus create more space for the RAM modules. The cooler uses 7 heat pipes. Each has an outer diameter of 6 mm. The heat pipes are made from copper and are covered in the same black ceramic coating as the fins. These heat pipes are mounted in between the base plate of the cooler and a small heatsink at the top, aiding with the passive cooling. The base of the cooler is made from nickel plated copper and is polished into a beautiful circular pattern that offers a sunburst effect. The surface is smooth and even, thus providing optimal thermal compound spread over the CPU surface, and this increases the thermal transfer. The top of the cooler is covered by a metallic plate that features a brushed texture that is also anodized. The endings of the heat pipes are covered by metallic caps to match the rest of the design elements of the cooler. Two of these caps are removable to allow for the included screwdriver to pass through to the base of the cooler and access the mounting screws. You may think that this plate with the brush texture will be a stain magnet as soon as the cooler is installed into your system, however the black anodizing on the top layer prevents that from happening. Going back to the two fans pre-installed, the front fan is a Silent Wing 3 120mm model that has a maximum speed of 1500 rpm. As always, these fans can run using PWM mode. The cable of the fan is covered entirely by black sleeving and uses a 4-pin Molex connector for power. The middle fan is also part of the same series but is the 135mm variant with a maximum speed of 1200 rpm. Both fans use the now well-known center frame mounts and feature rubber dampers to prevent any vibrations from being passed on. The mounting system is the main change from the previous Dark Rock Pro model, being greatly simplified in both ease of installation and the overall mounting system. However, there is one slight problem with it. If you remember, I said that two of the caps on the top plate of the heatsink are removable to allow for the included long Phillips screwdriver to pass through and access the bottom plate and screws. The issue with this system is that the holes are not large enough to allow for the two screws to pass through. This means that you have to place the screws on the mounting plate and then tighten them with a screwdriver that is passed through the top plate. This is quite the inconvenient, but don't worry, for I have an easy solution that will solve this issue. With the screwdriver inserted halfway, move it sideways so that the magnetic end will move to the side of the heatsink and thus be accessible. This way you can attach the screw on the magnetic tip and then tighten it on the mounting plate with ease. With this problem solved, it's time to move on and get into the performance of the Dark Rock Pro 4, but before that, this is how the cooler is installed in your standard ATX tower case on a standard ATX motherboard. We can talk about the space and clearance offered by the cooler after we are done with the performance segment. As always, all CPU coolers are tested inside an enclosed Fantex Entolux case, with all the fans manually turned to their maximum speed for optimal airflow and cooling. To better simulate a worst case scenario for a CPU cooler, a hot summer day, the room and ambient temperature is always set and fixed to 26 degrees Celsius. As you can see in the graphs, the Dark Rook Pro 4 is right on the level of the high-end air CPU coolers tested, being at the same performance as the NH-D15 from Noctua or the Thermalright Silver Arrow IEB Extreme. In terms of sound, the cooler uses the same type of fans as the previous model it replaces, so the results are not surprising at all. The Dark Rock Pro 4 being right next to the Dark Rock Pro 3 in terms of silence, both coolers being very silent at all times. Now we can talk about the space and clearance offered by this cooler, starting with the RAM slots of the motherboard. Due to its size, the front fan completely covers all four RAM slots on the motherboard. However, Thanks to the smaller 120mm fan installed at the front of the cooler, the space is enough for a medium sized RAM stick to fit easily. The space between the heatsink and the first PCIe slot is approximately 27mm, enough to allow easy access to the first PCIe Gen 1 slot of the motherboard, or as is the case of my motherboards and 
many modern motherboards easy access to the SATA M.2 slot under the CPU socket. Is this cooler a worthy choice in the CPU cooling market that is now flooded with RGB and water cooling closed loops? I would say that yes it is. The performance of the Dark Rock Pro 4 is still very good, being on par with the likes of Noctua NH-D15. In terms of the sound, while the cooler uses two fans with different dimensions and speeds, sound peak recording was at 39 decibels at 10 cm away from the system. The mounting system has been also improved over the previous model. The installation process is easy and includes only three main components apart from the spacer, screws and bolts. This makes the Dark Pro 4 a great upgrade over the previous model. However, the feature that will count the most after the cooling performance is the way this cooler looks, and Be Quiet has always made great looking coolers. The Dark Rock Pro 4 being such a shining example of this subtle and elegant design. 